business owners and managers are constantly encouraged to write a business plan. Research shows that businesses with a written plan were twice as likely to obtain financing, grow the business, and achieve their goals. Let's hear what owners of value-added businesses have to say about how written plans contribute to their success. I would say that business planning is essential. Um, it's going to save you a lot of money. It's going to save you a lot of stress. Um, and it's going to save you a lot of unnecessary um, mistakes and frustration, really. Drafting your operations business plan may appear to be daunting, but keeping it simple is a good first step. So we actually start from the financial plan and we look at what is it that we need to live, what sort of level of income do we need to sustain ourselves and sustain our family on the farm. We, f we feel that it's really important that our farm is a, is a family sustaining business. It's always a good idea to have a few goals and, and a plan of where you want to be in the future and then you know even if it's just a few basic basic categories that you can put together of how to get there and just build on that over time. Um, it doesn't have to be a really painful process. A business plan is not designed to collect dust. Review and adjust your plan throughout the year. You're constantly changing the way you do things because economies change, um, demands change in terms of what customers want, so your business plan is it's kind of fluid. It's, it's always moving and changing. Life never goes exactly according to plan. Nonetheless, written goals provide a focus. Nothing does go according to a written plan, but at least you have a plan. You, you, know, you can still gauge whether or not you've achieved some of your goals. Weather affects everybody, temperatures affect everybody, storms affect everybody, but you still have a, some type of a road map, some type of a plan that you that you are following. If it's not written down, if it's not there in front of you in black and white, it's pretty easy to constantly manipulate it and just go, oh yeah, I did, you know, I did okay this year. But if, if you look at your goals at the end of the year, your business plan and go, look, I didn't get that, I didn't reach that, it's, it's pretty black and white and it's, you know, it's nice to, to have that there. Put your business plan to work for you. Use it to achieve all of your goals. When we first started our business, we found we were here all the time with no personal time. And so we set a personal goal that we wanted more time with our kids. So that then tied into a business goal of we need to have a better HR uh, planning process and training so we could meet our personal goals. And that's been really great. The bottom line, business planning helps you to stay the course or adjust your sales on the path to success. It's like a sailboat in the, in the ocean, right? And when it positions itself in the right wind, it carries you a long ways. But you can be fighting it a long time if you're not, you know, finding that groove to be in. And so I think a business plan really helps you to find your position where you want to, you know, forge ahead and see your opportunity. Some people fail to plan, but you don't plan to fail. Um, and it, it really is true. As we've gone on, as the business has grown and expanded, it's always keeps repeatedly be, being driven home to us that planning is just absolutely essential. Business planning pays. Invest in your business. Start or review your business plan today. For training materials and business planning tools, visit ontario.ca forward slash ag business.